Good morning. We are going to get our YouTube channel back up and running. We're doing a lot of videos. We've been answering a lot of questions about the Mulchmate trailer. So we just felt it'd be better to put these videos on YouTube. They can be searchable. I can go on Instagram and say, okay, we dropped a new video on YouTube. Go check it out. So this is going to be the first video that we've done in a while. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, help us out. Subscribe. Give us a follow. That way you'll know when we add more videos. There's a lot going on around here right now. There's a mower over here is taking apart. We're doing some repairs. We'll probably show videos about that stuff. I have some equipment that we received that we need to put together and, and add it to the fleet. But right now, it's about the Molsmink DMT trailer I want to talk about because we've had a question. How do the hydraulics work? How does the axle drop down and push the bed of the trailer up? And then how does the bed tilt and how does the controls work? So we're just going to do a quick video showing you all these aspects of the hydraulics on the DMT trailer. And then you'll understand how that works. And the next video we'll probably do is show you how the mulch mate actually operates. I don't think too many people know how that thing operates. It's, uh, how it pulls the dirt into the back, how it shoots the dirt out the side, the fluffer fingers. We're gonna take this thing apart, show it to you, open it up, let you get a good idea how it works. It's an incredible unit. That's why we keep doing all these videos about this thing. And you guys really like it too, because I'm getting a ton of questions. So let me just pull this truck out of here. Let me get this trailer out from underneath the taller spot. We have a cover so it keeps the dirt, the compost dry. Let me back, let me pull this out and then I'll show you the trailer. So this is the Mulchmate DMT trailer. We bought it and inspected out to have the uh, six foot, I believe it is, 72 inch front deck area here to hold our uh, top dresser. And we have the core aerator on here right now. I have had the walker mower up here when we're doing a deep thatching. I could pull it up here, fold the deck up, and then just dump the grass clippings into the back of the bed. Uh, it is made by Belmont Trailers. They worked in conjunction with Mulchmate, and I tell you, this is the strongest overbuilt. It's kind of heavy, I will admit to that, but I'd rather have heavy and overbuilt than flimsy and going to rust away. So, we're going to talk about the hydraulics. The axles push down from the frame. It is also like a regular dump trailer. The dump bed has hydraulics, I pick it up this way. And then the final set of hydraulics, which I absolutely love, is this tongue jack right here. All we do is push the button, goes down. I'm not cranking and cranking. I can't imagine cranking this thing in such a heavy trailer. It would probably kill me. So let's go in the back here. And I'll show you the hydraulics for the axles. Here, actually, if you look right here, here's the pivot point. Uh, pivot point is right basically under this trailer. I wish I could get back a little more. Okay, so the pivot point right there. Then this whole rail gets pushed down away from this main frame rail. The axles are mounted onto this rail, and there's two hydraulic cylinders that just push down on the whole axle assembly. And then in turn, that pushes the bed up and gives more room in the back here to, uh, it allows a top dresser machine, which is kind of tall. It allows a top dresser to fit underneath here so the dirt can get spit out and come out the side. All right, so let's crawl under this trail and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Here's the hydraulics. Oh, let's get underneath here. So, Hydraulic cylinder number one is right here. There's another hydraulic cylinder. I can't tell where my finger is pointing. Right up in here, there's another hydraulic cylinder. So when the button gets pushed, it extends both of these hydraulic cylinders and the whole axle assembly gets pushed down as the whole bed, everything, the weight, the bed, the dump bed, it all just goes straight up. So that's the theory of how it operates. Let's walk up here to the box. I'll show you how the box has a control set up inside in the front. It has two valves, one that controls 
the front part of the trailer for the uh, tongue jack and then you turn the valve the other way it goes to control the the bed and the axles but that gets pointed to another valve which has two options of raising the bed or pushing down on the axles that's the hydraulic box on the front of the trailer i could not get it open with one hand while holding the camera but here's the valve system this is the one if it's pointing forward it's pointing at the tongue jack the hydraulic tongue jack so that means you're controlling the tongue jack and then the controller standard controller not remote uh, but if you push up it gets a little confusing to me up means raising this up <laughs> Picking the whole truck up. I'm still hooked up. <laughs> I forgot about that. Tell me that's not easier than cranking the top handle on one of these suckers forever and ever and ever and getting wore out, especially with how heavy this is when it's got a full load of dirt. The next aspect to control the bed is you take the first valve and then you just flip it over here. Point it over here, which brings you over to this valve, and you can see the tags. It says lift kit and dump, dump bed. If it's pointing that way, it's going for the axle lift. If you point it that way, it's going to lift the bed like a regular dump bed. So let's put it to axle lift because that's the question that we get asked a lot. How does this thing lift up this trailer? So we take that valve, point it this way to control the bed aspect of it. Take this valve, lift kit, so now it's going to lift the axles, and let me show you what it does. Alright, so keep an eye on those axles, I'm going to go up on the, on the control box, it's going to push up. See the pivot point right here, it's raising up the whole bed, it's pushing the dump bed, everything up. And there you go, it goes up 14 inches I believe it is maybe 16 um, there's a hydraulic cylinder fully extended it's got all this crazy beefy linkages that you you'll never bend this stuff nothing to worry about at all so that's all the way fully extended that's the rail I was talking about and that goes all the way up to here it's a it's a big lift I gotta say it's a big lift Okay, so that's the axle lift aspect. Now let me show you about the dump bed aspect because we've also been asked, does this act like a normal dump trailer? The answer is yes, it does. And I'll show you in the back what you have to do to the most mate to get it out of the way. It just swings all the way around, has a safety chain to attach it to the other side, push the button, and it goes up like a regular dump bed. In order to control this like a regular dump bed, we come back up to the valve box here the storage box, whatever you want to call this. Make sure this valve is pointing over here to this directional valve, whether you control the bed or the axles. So I got to switch this one back over this way. Now it's pointing over here. Now I don't want to be on the lift kit. I want to be this way, which is the dump. So we put this valve. Now it's directing all the hydraulic pressure to the lift cylinder for the dump bed. And then we're going to lift the bed after I show you how to stow away the mulch mate. Answer the question whether this can be used as a regular dump trailer. Heck yeah, it can. Let me show you what you have to do. This unit will swing out of the way. It swings all the way around, close to the other side with a chain. I'll bring it over there and show you that. All you, there's a safety pin here. Somehow it's up here. I don't know why it's here. It's supposed to be up here. Anyway, there's a safety pin. Pull it out. This handle, this is the release handle. Giant latch mechanism here and here. It's not going to Let me take you around to the other side and show you how this thing hooks up. It's a pretty slick system. This hinge right here, I think that's about quarter inch steel. You are, this is not on the band. It's all fully welded, not half, half, half. So anyway, come back around here. I'm gonna turn you around so you can see what I'm talking about. They really have thought of everything. There's the mulch mate unit right there, swung around on that hinge I just showed you. Then they have a chain already pre-installed for you on a heavy mount 
heavy chain and it hooks right here. So now the most weight, not gonna swing. Now we can pick up the bed and dump it like a regular bed. So there it is as a fully extended dump trailer. Now look at the angle on this. I didn't even pay attention to this. I, we don't really use it as a dump trailer. I have a dump trailer over there. It's a regular standard run of the mill black dump trailer. Brand doesn't matter. It goes up, but it does not go to that steepness. Nothing's gonna get stuck in there. Especially if you pay for the extra option of the plastic liners on the inside, the plastic liner sheets, we'll talk about that. In another video, this one's getting a little long, I'm trying to keep it short, just express how the, the hydraulics work. So, damn best engineered trailer I have ever seen. That's impressive, that, that steep angle, I have to say. And then, let me grab the camera so you can see all good hydraulics now that it's open. So here's a great shot of all the hydraulics. Uh, pistons straight up and down. Beefy full I-beam, fully welded. The axles we wanted for the 8,000 pound axles, we wanted for the upgrade on the axles. I'm very, very glad we did. Uh, I can suggest always going with the upgrade if you're thinking about stepping out of the trailer. Go for the 8,000s. It's a heavy framed trailer, as you see. Full I-beams. Then you have the other rail that the axles are bolted to. And then the hydraulic brackets. This is the brackets for the uh, the axle lift. Look at how beefy that is. That's like, I don't know, quarter inch, five sixteen steel, all the way around. Very impressive. That's all I can say. Very impressive. Okay, so I'm going to stop this video right here. I think we covered all the aspects. All right. Oh man, the sun's crazy. Florida, I love it. This is my winter coat. It got a little chilly this morning. So yeah, I'm going to end the video here. Uh, yes, it's a thumb trail. Yes, it goes impressively high that the, the, the angle dump angle I don't know what it is but much higher than the other dump trailer we have over there the axle lift the axle lift you have to get if you're gonna be doing top dressing top dressing machines are very tall because you have to hold a lot of material because when you throw that material down it, it empties that hopper really fast so you have to have a big hopper the eco lawn applicator is awesome um, there's two sizes I think I would always recommend the taller size, the bigger size, the 250. But again, that's going to be another video. Don't get me sidetracked. Uh, so yeah, you've seen it all. How the valves work, where the valves are located, the axle lift, the hydraulics, the beefiness of the brackets, the beefiness of the trailer, the dump angle. Yes, it can be used as a dump trailer. It just swings up and out of the way over there. All right. Thank you for watching. I hope this answered all the questions. If not, just uh, send us some more. Send us a Message, Instagram, direct message, Facebook, anywhere. I'll find it. I'll see it. If you want a question answered, let us know. Thank you. Oh, hey, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe or hit that like button. It all helps. We're trying to build this channel back. I was cleaning up and putting all our stuff away from doing this video. Walked around the trailer and this is the view. Ah, this is impressive. The most mint hanging, the thing all the way up. This is a monster of a trailer. I love it. Thick, thick, full steel, welded all the way around. I mean, listen to this. Come on, tell me that's not strong.